Finally it's happened. My QX on jacks. Of course I have a problem with air suspension. I have a huge hole over here and my suspension is hydraulic. First of all, I'm gonna rem release the pressure from this bleeder. So you will need like some kind of hose to keep it and maybe some bottle. Let's see what can... Okay, it looks pretty clean. Some fluid released. Should be not much pressure inside. Now I have to unscrew this hose and hose on top. Oh, I see another bleeder on the top. So we have to release pressure on the top too. Okay, that much oil we got from the bleeders. If you want to keep your area clean, better to put some garbage back. So when I realized that I had a hole, I disconnect uh, the compressor. It has uh, it has like connector over here, so it's not keeping working. So if it's gonna work all the time, it, it's just gonna burn. And for now, I didn't touch valves. Now for now, here's valves. It's rusty. I spray a little bit VD40. So I keep it closed for now until I replace this this uh, airbag. Here you need 10 millimeters tool. Oops. Okay. With one hand, <laughs> not too too great. First remove. You see, it's running a little bit. No pressure, but still you need something under. And then, of course, when I need, I don't have all my tools here. Because I cannot fit this on here, on second screw. Ah. Okay, the top, top part is coming out. It was hard, you had to push. Down. Oh, leaking, leaking, leaking. Next step is gonna be disconnect this air supply. Air suspension replaced. I ended up to get it to the shop because I couldn't remove all the bolts very hard so now i'll try to bleed it i attach bleeder it's gonna go like straight to the bottle and then i got this pump the most complicated part to make this connector this is high pressure ac connector and hard to make this transition hopefully it's gonna work i don't know then this is the valves. I make some mark facing down, so I have to put in the same position. If you make it too tight, you can damage the valves. Uh, okay, so we connected the holes to that uh, accumulator. Now we add the uh, fluid, this one, and now we start pumping. So we open the valves, we open the, the balls and valves, we pump in pressure inside. So let's say you don't have to pump too much, just like half of required pressure and then you'll start to bleed this. You have to start on the top, unscrew the, this uh, part. make a tube and now let's see you see the air is coming out 
a lot of air inside. Okay. Didn't have a time to do too much video because of all this process. So I tell you quick. So I pump it two and a half mega Pascal to the system, bleed it from the bleeders of the wheels. You have to raise it up, raise it up, keep it on jacks and you attach the holes, open three valves. I believe you know what that, what valves we're talking about. So first you have to attach here. No, let's say you have to make sure this pump full, uh, full of oil. You pump the pressure, make sure no air inside, you pump it. So the holes already have oil, then attach here to connector. Then release three screws, make a mark so you put back in exactly the same position. If you tighten it too much, you damage the valve. And then you take off the wheels, pump the pressure. You pump around 1000, 1000 uh, mega Pascal and then bleed oil, keep pressure, keep pressure and make sure no oil, no water, no no air gets inside here. Bleed it and then I draw around and I think it looks fine for me. At least like I replaced uh, rear suspension. Uh, it was a lot of air in the back but it wasn't too much. Uh, I didn't see any air on the front. So you have also bleeders, bleeders over there. Okay, so the most complicated part of this job was to make this crap, this connector. Okay, this is the pump, order it online, $40 from Home Depot. It comes the assembled, but you just attach this hose, it's coming with the pump. Then another problem here. So here's few parts, one, two, three, this part I took from this uh, stuff, but you can order separately online. I order it, but it's going to be delivered only tomorrow. Goes then this part comes from Lowe's. This is the name number 1414. And then this part. This is like transition from half inch to one quart. Yeah, that's all you need to know. So it's uh, so you need some put some rubber washes inside, like this one, two dollars, and put some some tape, some tape around and tight it well to make sure it's not leaking. It gave me hard time to assemble all this but try this and that different hoses nothing worked so oh, it still keep pressure inside so i'm gonna have oil for next project already uh, this is bleeder here to release the pressure but i keep it close okay